Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Redmi Note 7. This time we have Infinity X ROM V3.0 based on Android 16. And this is an unofficial ROM, probably ported from Redmi Note 8 and similar type of devices. So about phone and Android version as you can see here. Redmi Note 7, Lavender V3.0 unofficial. Other specification of the device and the security patch level is 5th of July 2025. And if I tap here, you can see our Android 16 logo. So the setting UI is pretty much similar to all other Android 16 based ROM and the control panel as you can see here. And I do really like this control panel and you can customize this control panel up to your liking. And talking about the customization, we do get full flash customization option here, like infinity suite. So we get monet color, and wallpaper, lock screen option, AOD customization. So AOD is available as you can see here, but not full flash AOD actually. And in navigation option, in the miscellaneous option, we do get spoofing as you can see here, spoof Google apps and higher FPS in game, unlimited Google photo storage. So in terms of customization, you are getting a lot of things here and quite good actually. In terms of network connectivity, both Bo LTE and Bo Wi-Fi working, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Quick share, everything working perfectly fine, no issue at all. In the display setting, adaptive brightness is working and we do get few other options like double tap to work, double tap to sleep, all these things are working well, no issue at all. In the wallpaper and style, we don't really get any kind of AI wallpaper or Emoji workshop with Infinity X ROM, but the default wallpapers are available as you can see here. And we do get few other customization here like clock size and everything. In the more lock screen setting, as you can see here, we do get few other options. Always show when charging. So we are not getting full flash AOD here, but while charging, you can see the AOD. App section, as you can see here, we do get clone apps, game space, assistant, and few other things here. Notification is pretty much similar actually. Sound and vibration works perfectly fine, no issue at all. And we do get few other options here actually like part app volume control as you can see here, Dolby Atmos option. So all these things are available. Modes option is available. And in terms of battery, the battery is doing pretty well. The battery backup is quite good, no drain issue at all. But obviously the first charging is not working. Although we do get like charging control option as you can see here, charging control, charging mode and everything. But first charging is not working here. In terms of storage, as Android 16 based ROM, by default it will take up to 15 GB of storage. And I did install a few other things here actually. Location is working perfectly fine. In terms of Sigurdian privacy, we do get both face and fingerprint unlock. And the fingerprint unlock is working perfectly fine, no issue at all. The face unlock also works, but I did not really enroll face unlock here because a little bit slower side. In the security option, we do get few other options like in the more security settings. We get extended unlock, device admin, sim lock and few other things and also theft protection option is available here. And that's all what we are getting, nothing much. In the system setting we do get few other options but no Xiaomi parts option available as you can see here. So that's all what we are getting. In terms of application, this ROM does come with GFs so you don't really need to flash GFs here. So we don't really get any kind of MIUI camera here but the Gcam Go is working perfectly fine, no issue at all. It is working. And phone call option, as I said, BoLT is working. So BoLT working and also call recording is working perfectly fine, no issue at all. In terms of photos, as you can see here, as I said, Google Photos unlimited storage is available. And fortunately, the Google Photos Magic Editor is also working. So in the enhance option, a little bit slower side because not really optimized well for this device, but it's still working well. So it is. So working. And in terms of other things like WhatsApp is working perfectly fine and we do get Google circle to search feature. Pretty slow though, but it works actually. 
as you can see here it is working unfortunately we are not getting google play protect certification with this rom although you can fix this issue manually so device is not certified so bank apps and few other applications not going to work here as we don't really have google play product certification so chat gpt is also not working as you can see here but in some roms the chat gpt does work even without google play product certification i don't really know what's going on but it does work in some roms in terms of gaming i did play call of duty in default setting i was getting around 45 to 60 fps continuously no issue at all so for gaming also this is a quite good rom and overall the animations and everything pretty good as you can see here smooth the rom has no major issue obviously as i said fast charging is not working and safety net is not available rather than that everything is working perfectly fine even though it is an unofficial rom and this is one of the best android 16 based rom you can get for this device actually infinity x rom actually quite good so that's all about this ROM and if you want to try this ROM, I will put the ROM link in the description below. That's all about it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.